Hello, I'm Carl Rowland with Sherline Products. In this video, we're going to be talking about our part number 8825 pneumatic bar feeder. Okay, we've got our pneumatic bar feeder connected to our AccuPro turn chucker lathe. The bar feeder is designed to take three foot lengths of stock. Maximum diameter stock you can hold is half inch. The PSI for the bar feeder is at about 30 PSI. The PSI for the air cylinder that opens and closes the lever collet closer for your collet is at 60 PSI. You don't want to exceed these pressures. They're pretty much right where they belong. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to load stock, put it in the machine, and then we're going to show a part running in the next video. To load the bar feeder, first thing you want to do is turn your air pressure off to the bar feeder. Uh, at 30 PSI, it might not sound like a lot, but if you activate it with the bar in there, it will send your bar flying. So that's first thing. The first thing you do is turn it off there. And the next thing is we have a bleeder valve on the bottom and you'll have to turn it several turns and then you'll actually hear the air release out of it. So there's no pressure inside the tube at all. Next, you lift the top clamp and there's a spring-loaded set screw, ball nose set screw in there to keep this locked in place. So you just lift it up, pull it out of the way. We have several different size uh, nose guides. You pick out the proper size nose guide for the stock that you have and this keeps the stock centered inside the bar feed tube. We've already put a half or sorry 7 16 inch because that's the size of the stock that we're running. So that's already in there and then you just tighten down the the bar feeder nose onto it. It just has to be hand tight. It doesn't have to be really super tight. With the air pressure off this guy can pivot a wide range, more so than you need. We've got it set up so that you can just pull it off to the side like so. If you need to move it more, you just lift it up and move it. The plunger inside that the bar pusher has got a 60 degree internal taper in it. So you want to chamfer the end of your bar stock approximately 60 degrees so that it locates inside the pusher and doesn't flop around inside the bar feeder tube. Then what you do is you just put the bar feeder inside. If the, the bar feeder pusher is all the way up at the top with the air pressure released, you might have to force a little bit, but it'll slide right down inside there. So you put it in so it's sticking out enough so you get a hold of it. The collar right here has a slot in it that locates on our pin right here. So you just put it in place, put it over the pin, and that keeps all of your regulator and control valves in the relationship that they're in right now. Okay, so it's inside the three quarter inch slot. Just put the clamp down in place, and now that guy's set to go, all right? It's good if you have the front end of your stock chamfered a little bit. It'll help you get through the collet easier. Okay, so right now we have the collet in the, we have the lever collet closer in the open position, which you would use a M11 code in order to open the collet and M10 code closes the collet. So right now we're open and we'll just feed it through. until it comes out at the end of the collet. D depending on how long your part is, this is probably about where you're gonna be so your cutoff is as close to the collet nose as possible. We've got the stock fed through the collet, all right? The next part that's critical is getting the proper tension on your lever collet closer. You can sock this down super hard and your air cylinder just won't be able to put enough force against it to close it. So. The basic rule is right now I've gone to the MDI screen and I put in an M10, which is to close the collet. So the collet is closed right now, but this is not closed on the stock yet. So what I'm going to do is turn this until it actually makes the collet 
starts to hold the stock, so right there. So that's on the stock, the collar's closed down on it, just minimal tension. Now what I'm gonna do is go to M11, and I'm on the F2 program MDI screen on MDI. Okay, that opens the collet. So right now I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about eight clicks. And I'm gonna put in M10 to close the collet. And that closes my collet. So right now that should be adequate force to hold your part without, without it moving in the collet. If you find that your stock is moving, then what you would do is just put it in the M11 again, open the collet, close it down a couple more clicks, M10, close the collet, and you're set. There, the, the amount of force that the air cylinder put exerts on the lever collet closer arm is, is more than adequate, so it's just a matter of getting your tension right on your your draw bar knob back here. So the stock is in there. I've got on my setup, I have all my tools and I have a hard stop right here. So this is tool number three and it's very wise to get tool number three close to the stock. So if you make a mistake and you do try to uh, shoot your stock through the wall <laughs> or your machine, the stop will be right in front of it, so no damage will be done. So right now what I'm gonna do is exit here. I'm gonna go to the jog screen. It already says I'm on tool number three. You've got the feed override. I'm gonna bring this down, and I'm gonna just move my stop up close to the end of the, the stock. I'm go a little faster here. So I just say about a quarter inch of gap there. So if anything goes wrong, the worst thing that's gonna happen is it's gonna shoot it out a quarter inch. All right, at this point, what we're gonna do is turn the air pressure on to the actual bar feeder tube. First thing we're gonna do is close the bleeder valve. The bleeder valve has an O-ring in there. So when you close this, it just has to be snug. If you go too tight with it, you're going to start to destroy the O-ring that's in there, kind of like your water faucet at home. So just turn it enough to close it. And then this is your air on off. And I'm going to open it slowly. What you just heard was the bar feeder pusher inside hitting the back end of the bar stock. So right now we have full pressure to the back of the bar feeder and we're ready to start working on the machine.